Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the deck of panning. I am a day late on this upload. Life has been unbelievably busy. I keep saying it, but it's true, and so I apologize. The good news is I have been wearing this look for three days in a row because for three days I've been trying to film this video. So I got a couple of extra uses in on some of these products. Unfortunately, I did not meet my goal on anything for this month, so I won't be able to roll anything out or roll anything new in. So that's too bad because that is a big part of the fun for this project but I'm here to show you what progress I've made on these items in this project. There are only five that I'm working on, so it's not too overwhelming. By the way, did I mention that this project was created by Emily from Emily and Max? Great project, great idea. I still love this concept. I've been having so much fun with this project, but um, yeah, we're gonna roll everything over for another month. So let's take it from the top. The item that has been in this project for the longest is my Stila Glittering Glow in Diamond Dust that was rolled in for the Joker. The Joker was an Are You Joking product, which is a difficult product to pan. Boy, did I pick the right product for that one. I am at, I set the goal of 50 uses for this product and I am now at 12 uses. So again, I was at nine last month and I've worn this for the last three days. And so that got me to 12 uses. That's like the biggest number I've had throughout this whole project. So yay for me. What is interesting is that I finally used the tool that Elizabeth gifted me, that spatula, and I depotted the entire, con well, almost the entire contents of this container into a separate container. And it has made it much more easy to use. The problem with this product right here was that it's drying out it's getting old and so when I would pull out the wand um, what would happen is as I would be applying it to my eyelid the glitter would just be floating away and dusting off and going into the air and I just had glitter cheeks everywhere before I'd really even applied it and it was it was just not fun. It just was getting to the point where it wasn't fun to use. And so I took the stopper out and I used the spatula and as I was depotting this product, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna toss it in the garbage. I'm being ridiculous. This is gross and disgusting. But the truth is, now that I've depotted it, I'm kind of liking it more and I could see myself using it. I am wearing it all over my eyelids today. I have the coral shade from my Pan That palette all over my eyelid and the Stila Diamond Dust on top of my eyelid and that's about it. I have like a peach shade in my transition area to blend it out. But there are definitely 50 uses in this product. I know we were joking when the product was still in here that there wasn't even 50 uses left in this container. There's 50 uses all right. Um, this is what it looks like now. Look at that beautiful mess. It is disgusting. I might start doing some experiments with mixing in some different mediums to see what revives it the best and creates the best consistency. I do have a mixing medium from NYX. Um, and I was thinking about trying that baby skin from Maybelline in mixed in with this since everybody says it does a good job of reviving Super Shock Shadows. So I figured I would try and mix some of that in. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of science um, over the next month to see what the best way is to use this. I also don't think this is the best shade to go on to this coral eyeshadow, but I don't know, for some reason, that's what I've been doing for the last three days. But I think this would go good on top of like browns and grays and more cool toned eyeshadows rather than this very warm coral. I don't know why I paired this combination together, but that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to hit pan on the coral, that's what I'm doing. So, I'm at 12 uses, I still have 38 to go, but I did depot almost all of the contents. That little spatula would not get the product that's stuck to the sides at the bottom here, but honestly, I don't care. I'm over it, I'm gonna try to get to 50 uses still on this, and then I'll probably toss it unless my little science experiment works. Am I really faded out? What is going on? Why am, why am I disappearing on my phone? Okay, it's better. I don't know what happened. So anyways, 12 uses, 38 to go. Next, I have my artist 
plexiglass from Makeup Forever. I have really enjoyed this since rolling this into this project, but I haven't used this a ton in the past month. My goal for this is 11 uses. I rolled this in for the Four of Clubs, which was represent another project. The project I chose was 50 Shades of Pink, and my goal for this is to use it 20 times, so I still have to use this nine more times. That might have been exactly where I was last month. I feel like I haven't reached for this at all especially since I finished that hot pink lipstick sample from Urban Decay that was in my um, advent calendar project pan. So I still love this. I still want to use it, but I'm back at work. I'm wearing a mask all day long and it's, lip products have been suffering. Yep. I bet I'm not the only one. The other lip product in this project is my Bite Beauty lipstick in Fig and date it's double-ended and this was for the three of diamonds and the prompt was double-ended I've kind of settled on one shade that I'm trying to finish I have this has been in this project for like four months and I wasn't really sure what goal I was gonna set for this I just knew that this was double-ended and I was excited to be working on it and then I started saying well maybe I want to finish one side but I don't know which side well it turns out I am consistently reaching for this pinkier side over this more neutral side when I do reach for this, which isn't that often. I'm not using this that consistently, but when I do, I'm using the pink side every time and not the neutral side. I think this pink side is called Fig and this neutral side is called Date, but honestly, I have no idea anymore. When I put, the name is on the caps and I could be putting the caps on the wrong end. So I think I'm trying to pan Fig. Now, as you can see, there's not much product in here to begin with, but I'm just not using this that consistently. I am wearing the shade Today. This is what it looks like on me. But I'm pretty sure today is the first time I've reached for the shade all month long. The next product is my old exclamation perfume. It's not old, it's brand new. But I say old because this was like my first perfume ever. And the reason I rolled this in was for the Two of Hearts, which was the prompt nostalgic. And this brings back a lot of nostalgia. It's funny how a scent like that can do that. And now, of course, that I've been trying this, I wanna try Malibu Musk again, which was my other go-to scent as a child. And um, Benetton Colors, I wanna try that too. Anyways, my goal for this product was to use it 30 times. And for some reason, I only have two times marked on this paper. Now, maybe I only used it two times, but I have a feeling I've used it more like three or four. Either way, I have a long way to go before I can roll this out of this project. I've been focusing on other perfumes more than this, but when I feel nostalgic, I reach for this and I'm glad I have it in this project. So I still have to use this 28 more times. And the final product in this project that's rolling over for another month is my blush from American Beauty. This was rolled in for the Seven of Spades, which was Matches shirt. And at the time I was wearing a dress that had a flower print on it. So I picked this flower designed blush. I thought I was being cute and pithy. The goal that I set for this was to use it 20 times as well, and I am up to six uses. I have it all over my face like a mask. I don't know if you could see it or not, but basically I did like the whole draping, like I'm wearing a mask like a superhero with my blush look today. Um, it's very shimmery. It's not too pigmented, but it is very shimmery, so I am glowing. I don't even have a highlighter on. It's just this blush. You don't need a highlighter with this blush. So I'm at six uses and that means I have 14 more to go until it rolls out. I think this is the most likeliest candidate for me to have my goal met on for next month. The rest are probably going to linger around for a little bit longer, but I am gonna try to hit my usage goal on that blush so I could roll something new in for next month. At least that's the plan. That is it for this update. I will have a playlist down below of everybody else's videos and I will have a link to Emily's channel so you could check her out and support her if you're not already subscribed to her. I hope you're subscribed to her. Am I fading out again? What is going on? What's that? Is it my highlight? I think this blush is so glowy that my phone is freaking out because I don't know why that keeps happening. Strange. All right, guys. Obviously, my phone can't handle this video at all. 
So I will get off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.